Hey guys, it's Katie from It's a Mother Thing. Uh, today I am so excited. I have been working on uh, some things around my house. Uh, one of the, my hugest interests in life is uh, making things pretty. <laughs> um, I do a lot of arts and crafts. Uh, a lot of that is on my blog. Um, I also do a lot of uh, interior design and DIY and these are things that mean a lot to me but I don't get a lot of time to share. Uh, so today I'm really excited to bring you my brand new dining room makeover. Now this has been a project that was a long time in the making. Uh, when I first started it, I wasn't really sure how it was going to go. Um, I've already made over this dining room once. We've lived in this house for four years and um, when we first moved in, the dining room was this really weird uh, aesthetic <laughs> and it's really hard to describe, but basically if you can imagine yellow walls that look like fake straw was smeared all over them. Um, I'm not sure what they did. Uh, it was pretty, it was very nice, but definitely not my aesthetic. Uh, so pretty quickly after we moved in, I actually painted all the walls white and then put up some peel and stick wallpaper from Target on the walls, or on one wall. And um, we've been living with that for the past three years or so. And it just got to the point where I was really starting to hate it. Uh, I really wanted something kind of more elegant to elevate the space. It's a very open concept area. In fact, the dining room itself only has two walls and one has a giant picture window on it. The other two are just open to the rest of the house. So I knew it was going to be a challenge to find something that really worked for the space and that met all the criteria that I had to make it look really good. Uh, originally I was thinking of going with a very neutral color and do the whole farmhouse thing, but I'm the kind of person that changes my mind a lot and I we're already surrounded by a lot of neutral in this house uh, other than behind me because this is my personal office which I painted very recently. But as you can see it's still very, um, you know, more neutrals. But uh, so I really wanted something that was really going to stand out and since we were playing with an open concept surrounded by neutral tones. I really wanted to go for something a bit more vibrant. Uh, so I decided to try and utilize jewel tones for the walls. Um, and I'm really happy that I did. I love the way it turned out. I think it just looks incredible. Uh, and I'm just so excited to share the process with you. I did a whole bunch of crafting for this, a whole bunch of DIY projects, uh, and I'm gonna share all of them in other videos. But for now, I just really wanted to show you the transformation from uh, how my dining room lo looked then and to how it looked now. And I really hope you guys like it because it is such a joy to me to look at it now. So let's take a look at how it used to look. As you can see, the peel and stick wallpaper is really kind of eh, not not the best looking thing in the world. It worked for its time. I really loved it when we first put it up. My husband has never liked it, so he was really glad to bring it down. But for me, it was just it was something different in this house, uh, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but it just got to the point. I think it lasted about a year before I started to not like it, and now it's three years on, and I just really really hated it. Um, the rest of the dining room, I think it wasn't really working because of the way it was set up. Um, it, there wasn't a lot of storage in there. There's not a lot of anything. It just became this catch-all room because it's right in front of the front door. Uh, it's kind of the, the second room that you see when you're walking in our front door. And that makes it really difficult to... Um, it just becomes this place where the kids throw their backpacks and all of their stuff and it's kind of where they started doing homework and they were just throwing everything and my husband was throwing everything on the table and it was just becoming a playroom and all this, it just wasn't looking good. So I wanted to tackle it, make it something that looked a little better, felt a little better and could be used for the purpose it was intended, which is as a dining room.
the wallpaper and there are a lot of holes in the wall. So we uh, just made a trip to Home Depot. I bought some uh, nail filler and a sanding block and we're gonna go get these filled in. stuff is pretty cool because it turns white as it's drying so once all the pink is gone we'll know it's time to sand it off and then we can get started with the painting thing that is supposed to be able to go around the edges of things like windows and walls so that you don't like smear it where it's not supposed to go. We're gonna see how well it works. The edge is not working so well it's dripping paint down the wall so we're gonna switch to a brush. Mistakes have been made. I may not be the best painter in the world, and my trim is having some issues. So, I've enlisted the husband, I've painted the back wall, this wall with the window on it, and some of the kind of whatever wall, and then husband is moving the shelf out of the way so that we can get the rest of it done, which is that corner and a little bit over the entryway. Okay, so it's two days later. Uh, we skipped yesterday because we had to go to my mother-in-law's birthday party and because I had a really terrible migraine. I still have a bit of a migraine, but we're gonna persevere. Um, so the first thing, as you saw, is I spilled paint all over the trim and on the molding and it was a disaster. And uh, so <laughs> I went to the hardware store, I was gonna buy some tape, but when I talked to the people at Home Depot, they said not to use tape on fresh paint because you really need to wait 30 days before you apply paint. So I wasn't really sure what to do, but then they suggested I get this, which is a paint shield. Um, and it's got this like flat metal edge and you can hold it up against where you're painting and paint across it and it'll give you a nice crisp line. So we're gonna do that uh, for the um, wainscoting and then for the molding up at the ceiling because that's where I've accidentally got paint. <music> I've touched up the white, as you can see, who looks so much better all the way around. This, my room is like a war zone though. <laughs>
did you guys think? I thought it turned out so amazing. That blue green, it was just, it's better than I imagined in my head. I really was torn. Originally, I wanted to go for a sort of emerald green, and then I kind of wanted a, a more sort of um, blue color, a deep blue color, uh, but I thought this worked so well. It was the best of both worlds. In some lights, it looks more green. In some lights, it looks bluer, uh, it, and I don't even think the camera really got across how vibrant it is. It's so beautiful. That room can take a nice big color like that and a dark color like that, and I'm just so glad that I went for it. I know my husband was really worried about it when I first told him what I was going to do. He was not happy, uh, but in the end, I think he really liked it. Um, he was also really, really unsure about the shelves that I hung, and I kept telling him it was going to look great, it was going to look great, and even after I hung them and you know mounted them to the walls, he still thought he was going to hate it. Uh, it wasn't until the final stages when I actually um, put everything up on the shelves and tried to make it look prettier, all of a sudden it just transformed it. Like I knew it would, but my husband was just convinced he was going to hate it. So I was so glad that in the end he really liked it. It just made it that much more satisfying. So I hope you love it. If you did, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I really appreciate it. I'm actually uh, working to build this channel up. I'm going to have a lot more crafts and DIYs on here. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, definitely uh, tune in because they're going to be posted a lot more often. Um, in fact, all of the DIYs and crafts that you see in this episode are going to be uh, shared very soon uh, in their own videos. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you next time. Oh, a mother